finally, we have Evan Weinberg, who is a high school math and physics teacher at Hangzhou International School. Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, again, my name is Evan. Uh, I've been a math and science teacher for the last 11 years in high school, the last four uh, at Hangzhou International School in Hangzhou, China. Uh, I'm going to talk today about coding, not in the classroom as in teaching kids to code, but coding for the classroom. Um, the basic thing I'm looking for here are ways to make it so that I am reducing dead time. I define dead time to be time that is not directly involved in helping students learn. Um, collecting, distributing, organizing, displaying information, passing out handouts, uh, getting information from students. These are things that actually computers are really, really good at and Meteor in particular uh, has helped me with. So my first attempt at this was to automate a game that I tried playing with students that uh, did not go over well just because it was really hard. Uh, it took a long time to manage all the little bits of paper, handing them out to students, collecting them, and organizing them. So this became my first Meteor project to uh, play this game um, automated. And so I picked up Discover Meteor. Obviously, it's amazing, helped me um, make this happen, along with uh, some great people in the um, Meteor community. And ultimately, I was able to play this multiple times within a single uh, class period. It worked extremely well, and the kids had a great time. Um, the biggest Meteor app that I put together, um, a little vain, I suppose, but this was to make it so that I could manage students who were signing up to do retakes of quizzes. Uh, online. I use something called standards-based grading. Uh, students come in and show me that they have mastered uh, one concept versus another, but it became a real pain to manage all of this uh, using pencil and paper, forget it. Google Docs I used for a while, but it was still a lot of jumping around. And so I used Meteor to put something together. Students could sign up uh, for a quiz at a given time. Uh, they could look and see what assessments they had signed up for, what quizzes they had signed up for. Uh, and also, I have the system of credits, which make it so they can't just sign up a billion times. If they do homework, see me after school, they get a credit, which they then can use to sign up. Uh, and for me, I saw all of the assessments real time at the same time, and I knew at the beginning of the day exactly who was going to be coming in. It made things really easy. Uh, the final thing I wanted to do, uh, I had this idea uh, for a probability lesson, uh, getting students doing a little gambling, you know, again, not real money. So I made up some, some currency, gave it to them, and had them play this game. Uh, and after about 3,000 clicks, I ended up with a whole bunch of interesting data points that I could use uh, to talk to students about. Long story short, you're, short, you're probably not impressed. I bet. All of you in this room could probably put together something like this in a fraction of the time. I'm not a coder. The most important thing I want you to see is that uh, Meteor makes it possible to go from an idea to an app that I can then use with my students in a minimal amount of time. And as a teacher, that is super cool. Thank you. We have questions for Evan. Yes. What do you think are the hardest things to learn in non-coder in Meteor? Uh, the question was, uh, what are the hardest things to learn in Meteor being a non-coder? Um, I, I guess probably learning to find the errors in my code. Um, you know, I didn't know what was going wrong. Uh, I know that the mistakes I was making were pretty basic because pretty much the exact error messages that came up, I could find almost verbatim on Stack Overflow. So that made it, made it really easy to make progress. Uh, but really talking to other people, the, some of the ideas that I had, I think the hardest part were wiring in a back end to the front end. And I really didn't learn what either of these things were. Um, I, I mean, I think I knew, but uh, Meteor made it so smooth connecting the two that um, that, that wasn't an issue. So I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Yes? Do you have any students offering to help me fix things? <laughs> the question was, do I have any students uh, offering to help me fix? Um, I am, I had a lot of students who were really impressed with some of the things that I was able to pull out, even really basic. Again, it was Meteor that made the magic. Um, but, you know, my students aren't really coders, but uh, I have, 
I decided to pitch a web programming course for next year, and I have uh, some kids signed up for it. And, and Meteor, I think, is going to be the you know one of the main things we're using in that. Um, so my hope is that as I get these ideas for apps, I can kind of pawn those those things off to students and say, "You design this for me. I need it tomorrow, please, for my first period class." <laughs> We have a question from Twitter. OK, go ahead. Uh, Yuri would like to know, are you based in China, and what other countries have you been to or are going to soon? Sure. Uh, I am, again, I've taught in, at the Hangzhou International School for four years. Um, I taught in New York City for seven, and then moved with uh, my wife, who also teaches there. Um, we're going to be there for, for a little while, uh, maybe another year or two. We'll see. Um, but. I mean, being being in China is great because it's you get to visit all the amazing countries that are that are over there. Uh, right now, this is the tail end of our cross America tour to see see family and friends, um, but we're going to be headed back on Sunday. So, <laughs> more excitement ahead. Slava, yes. <laughs> Actually, so uh, I was helped by two people. Dave. Uh, oh, the question was. Um, do I know other teachers who are coding with Meteor um, or, or don't know Meteor, and if so, can I help them? Um, I was helped by two teachers. Uh, one was named Dave Major, um, another Brent Abraham, who's, uh, he teaches at the Western Academy of Beijing. Um, incredibly talented people, um, and they really have, have pushed me in the right direction. Um, I, I would like to kind of pay it forward to other teachers and, and maybe make some, some simple videos just showing how to do some basic things that would make sense in the classroom. Uh, but again, you know, uh, time is a, a limited resource, so we'll see if and, and hopefully when uh, that happens. All right, thank you so much. Okay, thank you.